Hello guys, quickly let's now talk about the applications of Newton's law and conservation of momentum. Practically, this will be our lesson 13. What are the applications of Newton's law and Newton's law? What law is this, especially Newton's third law and conservation of what momentum? So, what are now the applications of Newton's third law and conservation of momentum? Now, what does Newton's third law state? Newton's third law states that action and reaction are equal and what opposites. Taking that this is Newton's third law, third law. Action and reaction are equal but opposite. Now, we see this every day in practical lifestyle when we see the following things. Four things to know number one is when the recoil of a gun, I'm going to show you. When you want to pull a gun, you pull the trigger of the gun backward, the bullet go forward. It is the action of the trigger that makes the bullet to go forward, but both of them are moving in opposite direction. I'm going to show you. So, recoil of a gun. Number two is a person walking. We're going to explain that. And number three is a jet prepared to the world, to the aircraft. The jet is going up. The exhaust from the aircraft is coming down, as well as when you prepare the world, a rocket. Everybody, what are the four uses of Newton's third law and transition of what moment? Number one, recoil of a gun. A person walking, a jet prepared aircraft and rocket propulsion. Now, let's have an image. The first is the record of a gun. This is a gun. What can you observe? And for this gun to move, you have to pull this trigger. You pull the trigger backward. The bullet goes what forward. You can see that the, this is the action of the bullet. But this is the reaction. The reaction is coming from the trigger, showing that action and reaction, they are equal, but they are moving in opposite direction. It is the force you put that the bullet will go. It is the force at which the trigger was pulled that initiates the force of the bullet. So, action and reaction, action and reaction, they are equal, but they are in opposite direction. Action and reaction. So, you see that that is what we call the recoil of the gun. When you want to shoot the gun, you pull the trigger backward, the bullet goes forward. Everybody, so, did you understand that? That's how I say number one, the recoil of the gun. We want to stop calculation on that. Number two, a person that is working. This person that is working has a force. That force is called the weight. The weight of the person is acting to the ground. What happened? Let's bring it downward. But this also person too, also this ground is also exerting a force. So let's call that force word reaction. So you can see that the, the weight of the person is acting on the ground while the person reaction is pulling up. This is action and reaction. They are equal but they are what opposites. Now, let me observe some. That's why if you stand on the ground, you can stand firmly. If the weight of the human, if the ground cannot carry the weight of the human, what happened to the ground? The woman will start to sink. That means the force of the man or the weight of the man is pushing the ground. So both of them are acting on each other. And this is what happens when you walk. You are exerting your weight on the ground. The ground is exerting its own weight. That is force, its reaction on you. So action and the action, but they are acting in what opposite to what direction. So a man that is working with exact action and reaction, which is equal but to opposite. Do you understand? The third thing that happens practically is a rocket propulsion. You can see that the engine arms, and when the engine arms, the engine exerts a force on the rocket, which makes the rocket to move upward. But the exhaust or the effect from the engine is moving what backward. That's this smoke you are seeing. It's coming downward, but the, the jet or the rocket is moving what upward. Do you understand that? So the movement of the jet is upward, but practically the effect is what's done. This is action and this is what reaction. Action and reaction are equal but opposite. And the last thing you can see is that when you are flying, you can see that the, the plane will be flying this way. The effect from the exhaust will be moving what this way. Are you seeing them? Action and reaction. They are the same, but they are opposite. Action and reaction, they are equal. Please close your eyes. Give me what are the applications of Newton's total law of the of the moment of moment one. The color of a gun, a person walking because the person is acting his weight on the ground and the ground is acting his force on him. And number three, rocket proportion. And number four, jet world preparation. If you say you understand that, let's see promo light on the first one, which is the recoil of a gun. What are the bits? The complete series of classes, right? As far as your syllabus is concerned regarding your jam awake. Everything has been covered in details for you in the LearnLift app. And guess what? The sweet part is that you have access to your CBT, right? You have access to your video lessons. You have access to your notes. You have access to your past questions. Everything from the beginning to the end. 
is directing the lenders app for you so all you have to do is just mark down to play store or app store and download the lenders app where you follow all your classes from the beginning to the end a quick one before we move let's get back to class enjoy now in the recoil of the gun what happened when a bullet is fired from the gun the gun jerks backward or you said what it recoils and what happened since momentum is conserved because you say for all collision momentum is conserved we can practically say that uh, because momentum is conserved we can say that the net force is equal to zero that is the momentum of the bullets the mass of the bullet velocity of the bullet plus the mass of the gun and velocity of the gun is equal to zero because in conservation we say the net force is equal to zero now if you make this other formula what are you going to observe you're going to observe that if the mass of bullet velocity of bullet is equal to negative of mass because if this one moved here it now become minus and what is this telling you action and reaction are equal but opposite because we say if fy is equal to minus fx both of them are same but the negative sign shows their word action and reaction are equal or their word opposite do you understand m is mass of bullet v is velocity of bullet and c is mass of gun velocity of bullet so, now let's just take jump past question jump down for question 14. the question says that jet prepared aircraft <laughs> rocket propulsion the recoil of a gun a person working what does the question now say? Which of the above is based on Newton's third law of motion? He said that 1, 2, 3, and 4. B says 1 and 2. C says 1 and 2. B says 1, 2, and 3. Choose your answer first, right? If you miss it, I'll blow you. What's your answer? God bless you. This is action and reaction because as the jet is moving forward, there's a reaction pulling back. Recall of a gun, the bullet is moving this way. The recoil is going this way. Rocket portion, the rocket is going this way, action is coming this way. Man walking as the man weight is going this way. As the man weight head is pulling this way, the man's weight is coming that way. So making one, two, three, and four, making option A to become the word the answer. Do you understand? Jam 1983 question 30. A machine gun has a mass of five kilograms. That's the mass of the gun. Fires a 50 gram bullet, that is the mass of the bullet, at a speed that is the speed of the bullet. The recoil speed of the machine gun is option A was given, B was given, C was given, and D was given. So practically, first of all, what is the formula for, a, for recoil of a gun? We said mass of bullet, velocity of bullets equal to minus mass of gun, velocity of gun. So what is the mass of the bullet? A machine gun has a mass. So let's call this mass of gun is equal to what? Five kilograms. So mass of gun wing fires a bullet that means the bullet of the gun is equal to 50 gram combat gram to kilogram that will practically give us 50 divided by 1000 that's one that's 0 0.05 is that correct so that's 0 0.05 kilogram so fires a 50 gram bullet at a speed of now what is this speed this is what is this speed this is the velocity of the bullet what velocity of the bullet 100 meter the question is so what's now the recoil speed of the gun that means velocity of the world of the gun are you seeing that so first of all was we know that this formula mass of bullet was the mass of bullets that's 0 0.05 times velocity of bullets 1000 this is times 100 sorry is equal to what's the mass of the gun mass of the gun because we are following this formula minus mass of the gun is five times velocity of what gun so this is one two this will cancel therefore this is same thing as five is equal to minus five velocity of gun so velocity of gun is equal to five over five which is equal to minus one meter per second now Making option C to become the answer. We didn't put the one here because the one there is just what Newton told us so that the reaction is what is opposite. Do you understand? The negative just shows that they are moving in opposite to a direction. So this is the formula for recoil of a gun. Get the mass of bullet, velocity of bullet, mass of bullet, velocity of bullet, and all this data. There are enough questions in the notes. I can only solve you in class. Are you with me? So go to the notes, read the notes, CBT, tell a friend. Always tell a friend. And next class, which will be our last class under Newton's law of motion before we go to your simple, uh, your cycular motion as well as simple harmonic motion. What we are following the syllabus exactly. A man on a lift, and that will practically become our lesson for T. A man on a lift, what happens when a lift is going up 
or when the elite is coming down. I'll see you in that class. I'll take all the past questions from me to work or jab. But now, hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store, and then follow up your classes. You must do extremely well. I'll see you in class. Bye-bye.